Aries. Thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes, here to give you a reading. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Martians, Astronauts. Pick a node. It does not matter to me. I love you all. Cross Watchers, I am a snitch. I'm telling you now. Please don't curse me in the comments, all right? Love you too. Aries, this is a judgment-free zone, but you will hear the truth. I thank you for like, share, subscribe, emails, comments, love tokens, donations. Thank you so very much. I truly appreciate you. You're going to hear me use terms, he, she, her, him, they, them, it, heifer, pay it, no mind. Feel the energy. And remember, roles can always be reversed, okay? Uh, a couple of things, Aries, coming into your um, energy. Uh, for some of you, you're having some testing issues. Um, false positive. Uh, no, false. Yeah, false. What is it? False negative. False negative or inconclusive came up. Um, pregnancy is here. Somebody's, it's an issue with DNA or something like that. Something is off. Something isn't right. I don't know if it's a blood issue or a test that you're taking, um, testing your blood for something. If something isn't right, whatever it is, um, retest is my suggestion because it's just, it. It, nothing makes complete sense. Like it's not a complete yes or no, if that makes sense. Okay. All right. We're pulling from Sacred Rebel Oracle for you today. Aries energy. Aries energy. So, you have a lot on your mind, a lot of emotions uh, you've been holding in, and it seems that you're trying to exhale, you know what I mean? Softly, softly, the tender touch is an energy of really trying to process, exhale, um, get a reprieve, a rest, you know, uh, a, a sigh of relief, things like that. Uh, the bottom of the deck, what you want, wants you, means that um, th your path awaits, your destiny awaits. Maybe you're at the precipice of the starting line or uh, you're just finishing up, closing out a cycle, about to start anew. So uh, sometimes when you're closing out a cycle, the best thing to do, honestly, is just nothing. Just breathe, you know, breathe. You don't jump out of the fire right back in. If you feel like you're processing a cycle and you're closing out something, um, death energy. Yeah. See, take a break, restore and replenish. You need that time. Okay. You're, uh, the, the world is going to be there as soon as you get there. Believe me, it'll be right there. You know, um, in the mean and in between time, take a break. All right. Let's put some tarot down. Uh, we're doing rider today. Let's get it going. Center energy, please, for Aries. And guys, excuse uh, the noise in the background. I'm doing wash. 
uh, Eight of Swords reverse. See, clarity coming through. You're finally getting out, breaking free. I think you're truly closing out a cycle. Eight of Swords is uh, in the upright. That's my toilet paper torture card where you feel stuck and confined and not seeing a way out through or around. Um, and you're really starting to see, uh, you know, the 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 light come through or the end of the tunnel or you know however you want to word it it's starting to come to fruition for you crown the energy please for aries justice libra all right so uh we're talking about maybe you have uh, it, it we were talking about the dna thing or the testing earlier this might be a court case or court related um I stand by my original um, interpretation of the energy. Uh, some the, the test is inconclusive. It's going to be, if it's a court thing, it might be like inadmissible. You can request for it to be inadmissible if it's not right. You know, um, yeah, I want to say it like that. Uh, with justice here, it does work in your favor, regardless of whatever happens. You know what I mean? Because justice uh, brings back uh, balance, you know, into your life. Yeah. Brings you to a place of calm. And I like this because I feel really like serene. You know, I, I know you're tired. It's been a rough cycle. And um, you're going to, you know, let's let just level out, stand still for a minute, let the room stop spinning. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to be on the run all the time. What's undermining Aries energy? The Knight of Cups and the Magician. So uh, manifestations of love, all right, is undermining you right now. Because to be honest, right now, where you are in your mind uh this is in the way. Right now, relax. Stop worrying. Okay? Let the chips fall where they may. You know what I mean? Um, you may feel that you've been calling in love or somebody has been calling you in and you're not responding. Um, and that's okay. Again, let the chips fall where they may. You've done what you could do. Your cycle is closing. It's time to start anew. So just let the chips fall, all right? If this is not a love issue for you, it's, it's an emotional request for life. That's how this feels. I, I don't know how else to word that. Kind of like you really in your prayers and meditation, putting out an emotional request for uh, guidance uh, on your spiritual path, that kind of thing, all right? And again, I stand by my original um, statement, rest. Don't worry about that right now. You know, not right now. This is a time to just breathe. Where is this coming from? Past energy, please. Queen of Pentacles. So you're coming from a place of uh, nurturing, uh, grounding, um, security. You've really just been focusing on home and work. Um, yeah, I want to say it like that. Home, work, family. You know, things like that. Basically, what you did was you got into this Queen of Pentacles energy and you reorganized value. You reorganized uh, what was uh, considered abundance. You reorganized things uh, that you should hold dear and things that shouldn't matter. You know, you've really just been doing that work, 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 work. And it's obviously worked for you. You're coming to the completion of your cycle. Um, justice is coming in to uh, re-collaborate your balance. You know what I mean? Get you on a uh, get you get you on uh, steady ground, firm foundation um, in your spirit and in your mind. You know, so that going forward you can start with a clear head, and that's what you want. That's the whole point of this rest and relaxation, so that you can replenish and restore, because destiny is waiting for you. You know what I mean? What you want is waiting for you to get it together. So get it together. Hey, take a break, you know, take a nap. <laughs> Future energy, Aries. Okay, so Eight of Wands is here in reverse. Now, um, in the future, whoever is not communicating with you, I don't see that um, ever changing. But what it doesn't change anything. 
You, you understand what I'm saying? Um, this lack of communication, actually it more feels like a lack of response. Um, it doesn't change anything. It doesn't change your path. It doesn't change uh, your situation. Um, it's just, it, it should really confirm that where you are and what you're going through right now is, is supposed, is where you're supposed to be. You know, um, it seems to me that whatever this manifestation is, this emotional tie that you've been trying to call in has been doing nothing but draining you. You know what I mean? And it's time to let it go because obviously, uh, some ties have been cut with you or vice versa. All right. Bottom of the deck, seven of the swords. Yeah, um, either you're fooling yourself or somebody sees you as um, not trustworthy, um, something like that with this communication. That's why it's cut off because it's not meant for you for whatever reason, okay? For whatever reason. And wow, yeah. You know what? If this does nothing else, it matures you. Because the cycle uh, comes to a complete end. The world is here. That's the end of the cycle. I told you, you're closing out right now. You're closing out. But you've had some realizations, good, bad, and indifferent. You know, take that lesson and just know that, you know, God is still God. And just because one door closes, how about that? You know, you know what comes with that. Another door opens, right? So this cycle closes out probably with the air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or well, a queen of swords energy. But this is their truth and yours. So either you're closing out a cycle with an air sign um, or again, vice versa. It doesn't matter how this resonates for you, um, but it leads to where it's supposed to be with this 10 of Pentacles. All right. The truth of the matter is you'll be OK. 10 of Pentacles is abundance in all areas of life. All right. You still will be okay. Slowly but surely, it, it may take a minute. Wow. Ten of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. Aries, let me hold something. Hold on. What kind of change you working with here? Aries. Oh, with a boomstick. <gasps> oh, shmoney. And the Emperor. Oh, shmoney. Aries. Um, new business taking off. I like it. Um, new uh, something, uh, financial connections, networking. I like it. Um, just new life uh, as far as finances. See, you guys don't have troubles with the finances. You run into some hiccups here and there, but y'all work so damn hard that you work it out before it becomes a bigger problem. You know what I mean? Shmoney is looking excellent, Aries. Yes, my love. Congratulations on that. Just, I love this fertile energy here coming in with your the newness of your cycle because, you know, this is a life-changing event that you're birthing. Um, damn, that boomstick feel good. Do you feel that? Good Lord. Oh, yeah, Aries, what you working with? Woo, okay. Um, yes, new areas of life, just new life period new abundant life and it's it's predestined for you six of cups is here past life connections so your angel, angels and ancestors have been uh, uh helping you along you know i think that you're listening loudly now if that makes sense i want to say it like that not that you didn't listen or didn't hear but you're listening loudly now because they're not talking no more loudly but you're listening loudly i i know that sounds crazy i that's just how I have to say it, okay? You look at that full energy, brand new beginning. You are just embarking into your life. Ooh, who's that? Okay. Oh. All right, I'm gonna tell you the truth. Let's just get this out the way because y'all been back and forth for a while. And to be honest, I'm tired of y'all. I ain't going to lie. Y'all been back and forth with this Libra for too long. Um, and I'm going to mention Taurus because it's in Bruce Energy. But it smells like Libra. And that's not bias. I know I'm a Libra, but it smells like it. I'm going to say this. Truth be told. Now, Aries, 
either you are uh, have been in and out, up and down and around with a Libra, uh, one way or another. Okay. Now, if you have planned, if this is the person that you're not in communication with, this Empress, they are not. Um, they're not. They're fighting against any type of advance you make. I'm going to say it like that with the seven of wands. As uh, far as they can see, um, this thing is done. They can't see a positive way out. You understand? Or how can I say it? Five of cups energy, you're looking at the bad. You're not looking at the two that's standing behind. You understand? So as far as their concern with your energy, they only see what's uh, happened. They can't see what's possible. Not as of yet. I'm not going to, I'm going to say that not as of yet. Um, this person may feel abandoned by you, um, or they may have abandoned you. I mean, as far as I can uh, y'all really could have done it to each other over the years or whatever. Um, they may be intuitive. Okay. But their intuition is telling them that if they, uh, uh, continue on the path with you or, uh, replenish or, uh, recon reconcile with you, that it would be hard. You know what I'm saying? It would be a constant battle because you would always need strength. And nobody wants a relationship that you always have to fight for. You know, you get tired of that after a while. I'm a t I'm telling you what this is, how this Empress feeling. Now, for those of you that's not your story, let's talk about you embodying this Empress energy. Now, because the Emperor was there. Uh, the CEO, the boss, you know, which is you, you know, that's Aries Taurian energy. Okay. But some of you are going to tweak it. You know, you're definitely, the, I, I have to say there, uh, you may meet uh, your divine twin uh, with this Empress here, but it may be a little uh, trying because they're coming from um, damage. How can I say this? Uh, you might have to love on them a little bit to kind of get them to see that, um, to see you or I, I don't know how else to say that, to see you, because they're a little bit damaged. I'm not going to lie. Um, now, I'm sorry, embodying the Empress energy uh, from the Emperor means that you're basically just softening the touch. It's still an energy of superiority. It's an energy of abundance. Uh, it's the embodiment of all four queens, just as the Emperor is the embodiment of all four kings. The thing about the Empress, it's, you know, that feminine energy. So it's nurturing, you know. So basically, instead of now you just uh, having a concept in your mind of work, 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 you might now be balancing your life better, you know, work, working hard and playing hard, things like that. That's where this helps you. And that's something that you fight for because you know what it was like um, before when you didn't have um, that balance in life, you know, and it caused a whole bunch of confusion uh, between you and family, you and friends. Um, you've basically kind of probably had to separate yourself and started really uh getting comfort from the most high with this high priestess energy and that was difficult you know what i'm saying but work prevailed and you did it all right you stuck to it and you did it all right hierophant energy is here taurian energy again heavy emphasis on taurian energy you guys might be um how can i say this it's it, it seems like the 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 divine is working on your your bull, um, stubbornness, stubbornness. It, that's kind of like, it seems the area that you, you probably closing out. I think that's the, one of the things that God was working with you on that stubbornness. Um, and con you continue, it, you acknowledge it and you now have, are putting forth effort to work on it yourself. So, you know, kudos to you for that, because again, that's just growth. That's maturity, you know, coming in on your part. All right. Which is only going to help better your life because you, like I said, you are refocusing, um, and reorganizing what's important, what's abundance, you know, um, balancing work and play, things like that. You know, you're understanding that you can do both and be both. Um, still trying to connect with this divine counterpart, King and Queen, Queen of Wands are here. Um, and there is a page in the middle. So um, this may be 
uh, baby mama, baby daddy situation. I have to mention that. Um, I also want to mention that uh, somebody just might want to apologize uh, for not giving you um, the acknowledgement, maybe, of something. How do I want to say that? The acknowledgement um, of your worth. I, I, Yeah, they may want to say like, you know, Aries, I, I should have told you long ago, you know, what you meant to me or, uh, you know, uh, that I recognize your strength or something like that. You know, they might want to do that with you or you to somebody else. But again, money, Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. This is awesome sauce, guys awesome sauce to the 25th power. All right. You have a divine gift um, that's tangible. You can hold in your hand as well as the abundance of emotional fulfillment. I mean, come on. It don't get no better than this right here. I'm telling you, this is favor. This is favor from the most high, you know, um, because you're being met where you, where you, um, where you are. Like, how can I say that? You know, God will bless you in ways that you understand that it's a blessing. Does that make sense? And guys, I know you guys are hard workers. So when you see the fruit of your labor, then you know, um, something that your life is, you're doing what you're supposed to do in life. And that's where God is uh, meeting you, giving you a gift and a blessing. Um, that is tangible that you can hold. So you, you can understand that your work is not in vain. You know what I mean? All right, Aries, we're going to leave this here. I thought that was great. Just stay focused um, on rest right now, okay? You're completing the cycle, so fatigue might be an issue. Dehydration might be an issue. Um, you, I have to mention, like, a bit of melancholy, like, of sadness, um, but don't let it turn into regret, you know, because nothing nothing is in vain. You're on the right path. You're going the right direction. Um, and everything happens for a reason, you know? Um, and it is what it is at this point. All right, guys. All right. Thumbs up, subscribe, make sure you're notified of future readings. It supports the channel and it's absolutely free to do so. Okay. And collectively remember, we are all perfectly imperfect and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.